Hi guys. <clears throat> hi, hi. This is only my second scope and uh, I got like double dog dared by Ashley Rose Reeves to do this. Who? Raise your hand if you, <laughs> if you came over from Ashley's scope. If you guys don't follow her, she's so great. Hi Ashley, there she is right there. Thank you Ashley and thank you for everybody who um, was chatting with me over there. Thank you guys all for joining. It's so good to see everybody in virtual comment form <laughs> and in hearts. This is Evie. Let me take this. Give me that. She's hanging out with me tonight. She is, um, she's my almost eight month old and she is currently wearing size 2T. All my big girls, raise your hands. <laughs> she, uh, she weighs like almost 30 pounds. And um, all my babies are about 10 pounds when they were born, and she was just about 11. So anyway, she's a big girl, and we love squishy babies in our house. Yes, chunky babies. So uh, thinking about what I wanted to post about tonight, I I want to. I have really good intentions. Every night I'm like, oh, I'm going to scope. And then my friend uh, Jenna's Kitchen was like, I dare you guys to do a scope every night from here on out. And I'm like, I know I just want to so bad. Hi. Hi, guys. And I really just want to get on here and talk about things, but I'm having a really kind of like, and I, I warned you guys, I think in my, my hashtag, cause I, I just, um, that's my biggest struggle right now is, uh, I have kind of an identity crisis. And, um, for those that don't know, and I'm just going to talk about it real quick. Um, most of you guys know probably, but, uh, my husband, I told you guys in my last scope too. Uh, my husband is diagnosed. He has stage four melanoma and uh, we've been dealing with it now for almost a year, which is amazing because um, right when we found out, I got online and sorry, my heart's pounding a lot. Um, I got online and most of the stuff that I've read online said that he'd be lucky to have like one to two years left. And um, he had a lot of, a lot of tumors, um, you know, in different areas. Sorry. He had a, uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, anyways, so we went to Mexico for treatment and um, he's gone back a couple times and, and he's doing okay. And, um, but, but really for the last year, almost, um, thank you so much. We've just, I've just been having an, um, an issue kind of figuring out who I am now because um, we've talked about the Gerson method. Um, I've had a lot of different people. Um, when I announced it on social media, there was this huge, huge, huge outpouring of uh, love and support from everyone. And, uh, hi there. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> and it's been, uh, it's been so, so amazing. We really did feel like virtual hands, um, supporting us. So that sounds really cheesy, but, but it was a huge, huge help. So anyways, I don't want to drag this on for too long. Um, but so thank you. <laughs> oh, we're drooling. Yes. So anyways, um, so we, we've just been kind of plugging along, but as a blogger, um, on my blog, my little tagline on the side has always been that I wanted to uplift people and I wanted to inspire people. And I always have fancied myself to be, um, a pretty good optimist and thank you for inviting followers. I, I feel, um, anyways, I've, I've always tried to be really optimistic and I think I've had kind of a talent for that. And uh, I just kind of have always had a way to kind of spin any situation and have it be, I'm just a really good optimist and I've worked at that. And anyways, um, yeah. So, um, so anyways, I just having things, having such a hard thing uh, go on in our life. And um, I've realized that the only way that I can kind of um, keep like, keep from being, you know, in like the, the lowest of the lows every day is just to try and continue to, uh, find the silver linings every day and, and to think, you know, that I, we could be way worse off, you know, than, than we could be. And we could not have a home and we could be, you know, we could, or, you know, there, there are so many things that people deal with every day that, um, you know, don't, we're on the piano. Anyways, there's, uh, there's, there's just so many things that we could have going wrong. And so we really are really blessed, even though, um, you know, this, this thing is going on. So sorry if I'm not exactly articulate right now. Um, anyways, so I feel like, uh, 
Anyways, the biggest problem with me and being a blogger is that I really don't think that, as a rule, um, I have a lot of friends, bloggers, that come over to kind of keep up with our story and stuff. But as a rule, I try to blog for the general public. And it's always been a rule of mine to be like, what are people gaining from – I'm not following the comments very well. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm having a hard time keeping talking. So she's – I wish you guys could see her better. There we go. She's just big chubs. Are you playing the piano? Anyways, um, so I've, I have tried to make it so that every post I put out is somehow beneficial for a perfect stranger if they were to click over and not be like, who's this person? I don't really care about your personal story. That being said, I try to keep it really well balanced um, because I do enjoy sharing my life and everything like that. So um, the biggest problem has been that my posts for the general public have been, you know, like, here's 10 things to, you know, to make on the weekend. And here's, you know, some fun DIYs and, you know, DIYs. And uh, and I I feel like I um, share a lot of enthusiasm. Thank you, because that's about all you can see is her hair. She really wants to play the piano. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, So I. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, anyways, I, um, I go so back and forth and I feel like I have such whiplash on my blog because I, um, you know, if I want to share something more real or, you know, something about how things are really going kind of like in the dark, you know, in the dark late hours of the night when I get, um, really down and really depressed, you know, when I'm looking at pictures and things like that. And, um, so I, I'm comfortable sharing those things with my friends and, and even with strangers I'm perfectly comfortable um, but you know, and I've, I've kind of worked at that and, you know, here a year later, I don't mind sharing details and, um, but yeah, I just, I feel bad for the whiplash that it's like, hi guys, thanks so much for being here. And the next post is like, oh my gosh, I had the worst, you know, the worst weekend. And so, um, that's kind of something I'm struggling with is that when I get on, you know, I have to, yeah, I have to share whiplash <laughs> because I'm going from being really happy to really sad and like up and forth, back and forth. And it's not like I'm putting on a show in those happy posts because I do have really, really happy days. Um, but I, I do feel, I mean, like my day is, is kind of an up and down roller coaster. And so it's, it's not, um, good. I'm glad to know that. Um, I feel like most of the time that, <laughs> yes, we're all human. Yeah. And so I, you know, I'm okay doing that. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, I'm, o- I'm okay with how things are going, but that is definitely a big roadblock when I get on to write my post. And, you know, those real posts, the real post, not that anything I post about is fake, um, just to be clear, but those, those really more raw posts uh, don't make me any money. And they definitely, um, sometimes people are afraid to, yeah, it's um, it's amazing how how many people um you think kind of might have it together, and and when you when you have those um you stop playing the piano, when you have kind of those, um I hate to say like, what are the you know depression and anxiety and those kinds of mental, uh roadblocks. It's um they don't show oftentimes because you you can be a really happy person and still deal with with a lot of mental problems. Um and I hate to call them that. It sounds really bad, but. I like reading your comments, so I'm trying to keep up with everything. Multitask. I should be better at multitasking. Anyways, so so that's just something that I'm working at, and, and I have really, really amazing friends on here, and I love you guys for following and for commenting. Thank you for all the hearts and for inviting people. I'm not planning on going just yet. I just am really grateful, and I haven't acknowledged you guys, so thank you. Um, thanks again to Ashley, too. You're so sweet, and, and everybody who, whenever I get on and I, I join into somebody's scope, and I feel like I have so many friends there, and this is really an amazing community. This is only my second scope, but um, but I hope to keep going, and and it's been so fun to see so many of my friends that we're all like in this big group together and, and being uh, kind of isolated. I'm in Southern Idaho. I'm a few hours from Salt Lake, but I, I go there often. And um, anyway, so I just, uh, I have so many friends, but I feel like I'm out of the loop a lot. I feel like I'm dealing with Ashley's FOMO a lot of the time. Um, so <clears throat> I guess... Oh, anyways, I guess I've kind of covered that for now. It's just, um, I think a lot of people can relate to that where being, I hate saying like, like, like it's real because again, because it's not necessarily that, that everything else, um, on there, all the, the optimism is fake because it's certainly not because that's, that's kind of how I function is, um, you know, you get online and you see all the disasters that are happening and all the families that are torn apart. And, and so as hard as we may have it, um, that's really the only way to, you can 
survive each day is to count your blessings and, and, um, be grateful for what you have. And so, you know, so whenever I'm down, um, which is often getting better, but, um, my husband's been gone for a week and I have five children and they're right now they're five, four, three, two, and eight months. And so they're all really little and pretty soon they're going to start having birthdays. But, um, anyway, so they, I'm here, um, alone with all my kids and my husband's gone, um, getting treatment and I have another week at least to go and then he'll come home for a couple days and go out for another week. So it's been, <laughs> thank you. So, uh, so it's been a little bit crazy and I, I have to keep kind of checking myself cause I get, I get angry at my kids and, and I hate for them to, you know, see me that way. I hate to lose it. And so I just kind of check myself out and, uh, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to step over here. You guys are all being crazy right now and um that seems to work um to kind of just give myself timeouts because i i hate to be angry and sometimes i feel anyways um so that's kind of what's going on so every time um i have a lot of a lot of self-doubt that i deal with and uh and we all do and and so i you know i feel like i have so many friends on here and uh, and everybody i feel like i have Am I the only one that feels like sometimes I have um, better friends online than sometimes in person? And that is not a slight to my friends that are here and local and my family because I have amazing people close by that have been really taking care of our family and bringing us meals and and it's been awesome. So um, so yeah, I definitely have a lot of support. But but I feel so close to people online because you see into their lives um, a lot more and they, they share personal feelings and thoughts every day on Instagram and, and on their blogs. And I just feel like this is such a neat thing. And I'm so glad to get to be a part of it. I'm really rambling here. I'm sorry. Um, I could answer some questions if anybody has any questions. Um, I've not been following the comments very well because I'm already having a hard time kind of keeping, uh, keeping talking because I'm really hot and shaking a little bit. And, um, so anyways, um, yeah. Yeah. And that's a hard thing too, being in a smaller town. Um, thank you. <laughs> she's so funny. She kind of just hangs on me every day. And so she's my little pal. Um, to contact me directly, you can email me. There is an email. I think it's in my bio here. And it's also in my bio on Instagram. My blog is, uh, freckledfox.com. And, uh, I try to blog there often, but I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of issues where I, again, where I just, I get on to write something and I'm like, uh, I just lose track of, of what I want to share. And I have a, a worry that people aren't you know, going to respond well. If I, if I go up and down too much, I just want to be consistent and I want to be uplifting. And so, oh my goodness, what's, in, what's going on? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I feel like, I feel like scope is maybe different because, um, cause I can share, uh, I don't know. I can, I can share something and if it wasn't that well received, it'll just disappear. So, um, yeah, <laughs> she's, she's like, what's going on? Mom? Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree so much with sharing the ups and downs. Yeah. Thank you. So I, um, I do like to be open and honest and, and over the last year I've been kind of vague on details and things because, um, because I just, it's, it's just makes me, uh, I, I, again, it's, Let's see, I'm losing my train of thought. But basically, um, <sighs> thank you so much. Yeah, Periscope has been awesome. I really like, um, I've never actually kind of joined Snapchat. Um, not that I'm against it, but I just I just don't really understand it, to be honest. And also, I just, um, but I love how, how real, again, um, it is to be on Periscope. This has just been so fun to see my friends and like, in just an instant way, I feel like we're in the room together and it's been awesome. Um, so the cancer has been, he discovered uh, a lump under his arm for his, when he had a bodybuilding competition that was in last March. And uh, we went and had his test started. Um, yeah, being on here, I feel less alone for sure. I, I do feel support every day, um, especially on Instagram. There's just so much, any little whisper, or, or hint in the direction of, you know, having a hard day or, or being alone or dealing with, you know, if I mention Martin at all, everyone kind of jumps on that and I feel really, really supported. And, uh, anyways, it's been awesome, but I, I want to turn that around and I want to, I want to get back to, 
um, when I feel like I was able to benefit people. And that maybe sounds really bad to say, but, um, but I really love to feel like I'm helping people be happier and helping them, um, you know, be inspired to do more. And I, and I have a hard time sharing those things because I don't want to be like that, that scope that made people really down or really sad or, you know, or, or be that post that they were like, Oh, like I feel so badly now. And, and I just, um, so I, I think that's really kind of an inner, Oh my goodness. What? What? Look at this tummy. This is her tummy. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're tired of me taking the spotlight. huh? Oh my goodness. So, um, anyways, I, I think that, that's it. I, I could keep going on about that, but um, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm just working at, at being more consistent with everything because, yeah, you know, most of my kids look like Martin and that's just not fair, is it? Because who had to go through all the work? 10 pound babies. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm trying really hard and, and now it's been almost a year um, since that all happened. So in April, uh, we went down actually on his birthday. Thank you. <laughs> we went down on Martin's birthday to the Huntsman Center to, to get a full set of scans and MRIs and everything to figure out exactly what he had going on. And that's when they found them in his um, neck and in his brain and in his lungs, his intestines and um, in back in his lower back and all over. So it was not, uh, it was not a, it's, it wasn't, I mean, obviously, yeah, it's, it's good to just kind of tell people. Cause again, I think a lot of people have questions about it and, um, and I've just kind of avoided the topic cause I, you know, things were unpredictable and I, I didn't like to lose it on, on my blog. And, and I, again, it, it was hard to get over, but I think now, um, I've gotten to be kind of, um, and I, I don't know the, maybe the best way to, but it kind of like numb and I hate to be dramatic again, but, um, but if I don't let myself get too, you know, I can't let myself get too sad or, and I can't let myself get too happy. Um, but, but overall I try to be really optimistic and I think it was confusing for a lot of people at first, um, uh, because they were like, wait, is he really sick? Because you guys are really like, seem really happy. And, uh, and they were confused. Like maybe it wasn't as serious as we thought. And, um, and we heard a lot about that, just that, that um, you know, people were kind of confused at, at like what was going on. Cause we weren't acting like regular people. And he, you know, he kept his hair and, um, he didn't look very sick. He was, he's been, you know, he was, um, a bodybuilder. And so he's continued to try and go to the gym when he can. And as far as like for physical therapy and stuff, anyways, I don't need to keep talking about this, but, um, but it's been, it's been good to show you guys how things are going and, and, uh, to kind of talk about it. And so overall, again, um, I'm working with the ups and downs, um, not just in my own, um, you know, daily life, but on my blog, I feel like I um, need to find a happy medium and, um, I'm not quite there yet. Cause I, I don't feel like I can always talk about what I need to, or, um, you know, want to. And again, I, now that we have a lot more bills and things, um, yeah, I, I do my, I need to keep up with my income and, and, uh, so I need to make sure that, you know, I'm giving the public what the public wants. And anyways, yeah, thank you. So he's in Mexico uh, right now and getting he's getting treatment. And actually, I've not talked about this on Instagram or anything um, because I, I don't feel like I've quite under, I don't feel like I quite under fully understood uh, the results. But from what I understand, um, it's kind of good and bad in that he um, I guess the bad news is, is that his uh, he had one spot, I believe, in his liver before uh, when he first discovered it. And now um, he has a lot and they're all really big. And um, so his liver is um, and his stomach. So those are really, really riddled with spots. And um, and that's really scary. But the good news is, and it's amazing, really, is that um, the rest of his body is completely um, they're completely gone. So anyways, um, so we're kind of, again, it's kind of like not, um, it's not really very happy and it's not really very sad. It's kind of a mixture of both. It's really, really good. Um, thank you. <laughs> so anyways, um, and again, I've not talked about it. I don't feel like I want to go too public, but there's a lot of you on here. So that's fun. Um, but anyway, so he, he's, he's, his whole body is doing a lot better. Um, but then those two areas um, are, are in really rough shape. And so we don't quite know what the future is going to hold still, which is hard, but, um, but we have to kind of keep 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, something I have to just keep, keep plugging away. And I don't really feel, um, I feel more hopeful just because if it was able to, to get rid of certain spots, um, I don't see why it should have trouble with his liver and his stomach. So, so we'll see how that goes and I'll, I'll keep everybody updated and, and share stuff about that. But in the meantime, I have to, you know, go back and share like, you know, salsa recipes and, you know, hair tutorials and stuff, which I love to do. And it makes me happy. And so people have, you know, people have questioned like, why are you still blogging? And like, first of all, I need money now. We're doing treatment that's out of the States and it's not covered by insurance. So we definitely need more money. Secondly, um, thank you so much. Secondly, I love my friends on here and I love my blog and I feel so, um, I know cancer is just, it's the worst. And you know what? It pops up in every movie and they always use it as the scapegoat disease because it's so unpredictable. They can, you know, have the person as sick or as healthy as they want. They can make them die whenever they want. And we are watching every movie we watch. They always, they always have cancer. And it's just really hard because it's kind of just sneaks up on you. And we're like, oh, anyways, um, a lot of music has been hard to listen to just because I, I try to keep control of everything. And so anyways, um, I should probably... I should probably stop talking about that now. Is there any, is there any questions? I don't know how long, how long have I been going? Does anybody know? <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for being over here and for staying with me. And, um, and I, I do, you know, when I talk about other things and don't talk about it at all, it's not, I don't feel like it's fake. It's just, it's just the, you know, the optimistic side of me. And, um, and that's, thank you so much. There you go. Here, you want to chat? Anyways, um, <laughs> So, you know, I, I have to just remind myself that, that all of us have ups and downs and, and just because I don't share certain parts of my day, that's, that's my hard part when people are like, this is so, um, you know, like real life versus fake life, like on Instagram, because, because these are, oh, are you okay? Because these are parts of my life, you know, they're not, they're not fake. This is really what's going on. It's just, um, and there's no possible way you can share every emotion you have and every instance you have or every corner of your home or, you know, just because you kind of select my hair looks kind of crazy. Anyways, just because I, you know, select the happier parts of my day or, or attitude or, you know, anyways, um, it is, it's a job and we have to find a, find a happy balance because, um, I need to, you know, I want to maintain uh, my friendships and, and, um, but I also have to maintain my my income and and so it kind of goes back and forth and anyways yeah and especially now where it's been a year um I we felt look at these baby hairs these are so funny now where it's been a year um how I decided the vision for my blog um I actually started my blog a few years ago um after and I'll, I'll finish this up really quickly. I appreciate you guys clicking over. I know we have TV shows and stuff that's, <laughs> they're, they're so bad. And mine are, mine are growing out a little bit, but they're, they're all over like around the perimeter of my head, which is good. I'd rather have hair growth than, cause it fell out a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, my blog, I started it originally because I came across my first blog that I came across was just really uh, inspiring. It was um, Stephanie Nielsen and she's, she had like 80% of her body burned and, and um, I kept up with her too well recently. But, but anyways, the idea was that she was sharing kind of her um, emotions and, and her struggle. And I think it was inspiring a lot of people to, to be happier about life and to appreciate what they have. And and that was the initial um, reaction when we came out with Martin's diagnosis and shared that. And people actually apologized, but they were like, we um, I heard a lot of really amazing stories. And like one lady said, she um, was about to they were about to go through a divorce and they decided not to because um, she just realized like I, you know, I like my life could be so much worse and. She wrote me a really amazing email about that. And one lady hadn't talked to her mom uh, in a few years. And she realized that, that you know, she could lose her at any time. And um, so a lot of really amazing stories where people were reunited with loved ones. And um, anyways, I was saying people kind of apologized because they were like, I don't mean to, to use your, you know, your hardship as, you know, to my own advantage. But um, but it's really put a good perspective on my life. And that's that was amazing. That was a really um, a really encouraging thing to me as far as sharing kind of what's been going on. Um, 
because I, that was the original focus of my blog was I just wanted to share things that I did in everyday life um, that I thought were neat or cool or beneficial in some way. And I wanted to share the good things about my life. Um, she, she's been great. She's like chewing on the outside of this bank. She's having a good time. So, um, I wanted to share the, the good things that happen and, uh, and, and make people leave kind of wanting to, to create or, you know, just, just to do good, good things and have a happier life. And anyways, that was just my, my focus. I didn't really have a, um, a direction as far as content, but I just, I just knew I wanted it to be beneficial. That is a whole, let me do another scope on that. Cause I talked about that the other day and, and I had a lot of people really interested and it's, um, it's something I wouldn't mind sharing and it wouldn't take too long, but I probably should have another scope on that. I think we've probably been here for like 15 minutes. It's been a little while and I appreciate you guys being on here so much. This has been great. Thank you to Ashley for still watching and to Jenna's kitchen. Um, I just, I needed a little bit of encouragement and I've been trying to post, but again, I'm just like, what do I have to say that they care to know about? I know that's really bad, but because everybody has, you know, something that, that can benefit others, but I just, I really struggle with, with self-doubt. I'm like, why would they care about this? Or, you know, why does that? And so, you know, everybody deals with that. And, um, thank you. I'll try, um, train, sleep training. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we started when they were babies when they were infants. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to hear that, that I inspired you to start blogging. So that's awesome. Thank you. Um, maybe I should be done. I, I feel like I want to keep hanging out with you guys, but, but I know that it <laughs> keeps scoping right now or later on, because I probably should be done. Um, I, I talked a little bit earlier in the scope about how my husband's doing. He's he's doing better in some areas and worse in others. So maybe uh, maybe I should finish up. And yeah, we have more scopes. Last night I wanted to do it, um, but then there were so many good scopes. I just kept going from friend to friend and watching. And and I'll I'll do it tomorrow. And maybe I'll think of something to scope about. Maybe we'll talk about hair or sleep training or something like that. Because I would love to. Um, and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, and I should probably wrap it up. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll do some more tomorrow. And, um, and yeah, I'll wrap it up so you guys can go. I know I have more friends that are going to be scoping tonight. So thank you guys so much. Again, if you didn't check out Ashley Rose Reeves, I don't know if she's still on here. I know she had to put her kids to bed, but she encouraged me to start. So uh, everybody who came over from her scope, thank you so much. And um, and also go see Jenna's Kitchen at uh, Jenna's Kitchen because she, she's been a big encouragement to um, getting going. So thank you guys so much. And I love you guys. I'll come back to tomorrow and we'll talk about more. I thought maybe I could introduce more of my kids if you guys care to see them this little chubbers she's just she's up and everybody else is in bed anyways so thank you so much and love you guys have a good night <laughs> i don't know how to end this just kidding stay here how do i end this <laughs> i love you guys you're awesome but i don't know how to end the camera so let's just hang out for a few more hours so I <laughs> see i'm really bad at this thank you so much okay i'll swipe down Thanks for, for the tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Here, here's one more. Oh, my goodness. Okay. There we go. All right. Good to meet you guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.